Welcome back to the show, Vanessa Marcel. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. And, and welcome back. Thank you. Yes. How's everything been going? Everything's good. Yeah. I was you... a little stressed out because I have a zit and I couldn't stop picking it in the bathroom, but other than that, I'm okay. You have a zit? I don't see a zit. It's right there. <laughs> Where? See, that's wait, a, but, but, let me tell you that's not... but let me tell you what's really yeah. weird about the fact that I have a zit. All right? I mean, you know, come on. We all have them, right? But I don't get them very often. The last time I had one, was the last time I was on your show. Oh. Hmm. Not really sure what that means. I don't but know what that, I don't know, but that's not really a zit. Oh yeah, it is. That's it's like, a zit with five pounds of makeup on it, is what yeah, it is. A, see, I had acne. I know a zit. Oh, did you? Yeah, I used to, I'd wake up in the morning and there'd be a bump going, hey, Keenan, what's up? I'll be with you for the rest of the day, bro. <laughs> you know, when they, get, when they get that big, that's a zit, that's, that's nothing. If you have to point it out, it's not a zip. Okay. That's the rule. So, um, first off, uh, you gave us a heart attack because you were a little late, and somebody told me that's, like, your reputation. Uh, is that true? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. It, it's not really something I'm very proud of. I, but, see, that's one of the reasons why, because these little things happen, and I get obsessed with them, because mm -hmm. these kind of things make me so nervous. Live shows or award shows or... So I'm not the only show. No. Actually, the worst time was at the Soap Opera Digest Awards, and I was uh, presenting. And I was wearing the tiniest dress I've ever worn in my life, this itty-bitty little midriff sequin thing. <laughs> and uh, in my car, I, I hadn't really gotten a nice car yet. My car was still kind of hoopting along, and it did this thing. <laughs> My battery kept on, I can't explain it, but something happens with the battery and you have to like pick up the hood and like reconnect it or whatever. So um, we're driving and of course we're late because I was obsessing over my shoes and a million other things before we left. And, um, and it, it happens, the car stalled. And I have five people in the car, including my mother. And mm. I had to get out because I was the only one in the car who knew how to fix it and kind of hike my dress up and tuck it through the top of my shirt on the side of the road. And I was wearing these platforms because I'm a midget, so I always wear these, like, five-inch platforms. Wait, let me get this picture. You on the side of the road, <laughs> bent over your car with your dress hiked up and some pumps? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, be I bet you was real late. <laughs> there must have been a line going down the freeway to help you out. And uh, someone actually did pull over and help me out, but I'm kind of a tomboy, so I fixed it myself. Oh, you did. Good for you. I made it. But you made it? Yeah, and I was actually the first person to uh, present in the show. So Dick Clark called my manager to say, where's my manager? But you got there, though. How horrible is that? Yeah, and yeah. I ran up the stairs in my platforms with grease all over my hands. And I, I literally got out of my car, ran straight up onto the stage, and said, the nominees are... <laughs> <laughs> Did you, I hope you pulled the dress down. You didn't uh, last you. minute, oh. I remembered to pull the dress down. <laughs> Okay. Now I heard you uh, are not very <laughs> nice on a date if you, <laughs> if it's not going good. You did something oh. with somebody that wasn't so, uh, well, it was, it it was, was actually a, kind of funny, but. Yeah, it was a while back. I, I was a little uh, less mature than I am mm. now. And the date, the thing I hate the most on dates is when someone tries to impress me too much. Because what impresses me is someone who's just real and honest. Mm -hmm. and, and so I was... <laughs> That's all the guys on. All right, yeah. yeah. I'm real, I'm honest, <laughs> I'm broke. I just, I'm being honest. <laughs> I was out on a date with this guy, and he just did everything, you know? He pulled up in the car, and the flowers, and the mm -hmm. restaurant where that's too expensive, and the food's not that good, and they mash up everything? I don't know what that is. You know those really <laughs> nice restaurants where they puree their food? Mm -hmm. It's like baby food. It was really disgusting, and, and he kept on, you know, dropping names and saying you know, his place in wherever and all this stuff. And I was like, ugh. And so I went up and went to the bathroom and I, and I just left. 
I never came back, and I was, I was just, I didn't know how to just be honest and tell him, look, I'm not into you, you know? So I left, and I went home, and my, my old roommate Mel was there, and I told her the whole story, and I felt so bad that Mel said, well, why don't you just tell him that you're dead? Or why, why don't I tell him that you're dead if he calls? And I was like, just tell, yeah, tell him I'm dead. So he called, and I didn't really think she was that serious, and she's a really good actress, so she started crying, and she was like, Oh, Vanessa got hit by a car, and I can't really talk about it right now. And she was like, really did a good job because he sent flowers. And oh, poor God. <laughs> <laughs> so not only did he get stood up, <laughs> he's thinking that his date died the night yeah. that he took her out. Well, not that night. We tried to make it a little better. Like the next day, she said, you know, the next morning I got in a car accident and died. Well, did you ever did you ever see the guy again? I did. I saw him out at a club about a month later. <laughs> now, how, how do you play that off? Well, he came up to me and and uh, he was just like, "Wow, I thought you were dead." <laughs> and um, and you know, he was such an idiot. He still wanted to go out with me. <laughs> I was like, "Dude." Well, see, what? in his head, he was thinking, "Oh, cool, I can still hit this. You're not dead." <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> now I heard you, you were almost going to leave uh, the show? Yeah, I thought about leaving last year because um, I've been lucky enough to work on other things while I'm on the show. Right. And I kind of had to turn down things while I was on the show. Um, but there was one thing that um, I told them that they could do to get me to stay. And I always, I've always wanted to play uh, Nervous Breakdown and not some big romance story, you know? I mean, I love doing that too, but I always wanted to do something that was just my own and, and not about being cute or, you know, but something that really shows uh, pain and, and people facing their demons and stuff like that. And I wanted to do something that would challenge me, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, so they gave it to me. Um, I talked to people who had had breakdowns and stuff, and what mm -hmm. it is is your reality gets completely um, diluted. Right. So I tried to not do her the typical over-the-top crazy person where you're walking around singing songs and like, you know, sticking like pieces of <laughs> whatever to your forehead. You know, too over the top. I right. tried to take it down really deep and just make her biggest fears reality, even though they weren't. Did it work? And and I think it worked. I think it's it's I'm most proud of the work I've done on this Good. breakdown. Good. So is this is this not the current storyline? It just ended. Just ended. Oh, well, just last well, good. week. Tell us what's going to happen. Now, she got her marbles back together. Who is she going to sleep with next? Yeah, so now she's got her stuff back together, so now she's going to pick a few different men to sleep with. <laughs> I think, like, three... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, she's probably going to um, be romantically involved with Jack. Bingo oh. Rademacher. All right, well, yeah, he was just on the show. That's right. Oh, we saw the little um, marshmallow thing. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. We saw it. We saw it. Yeah. Well, good. We'll be looking for it. Thanks for coming by. Thanks it's always a pleasure to see you. Vanessa Marcel, check out General Hospital Wednesdays on ABC.